Hey guys, had a long lunch break today and I decided to go into the um, Big Five around here. It's a regional sports, like a sporting goods chain. Um, and see what kind of ammo they had available. And this is all that I could find. Uh, thankfully they did have some 223. This is the first 223 that I ever bought when I first got my uh, Stag AR. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good ammo, it's Korean, PMC, good stuff. When I um, first got my AR, almost uh, 18 months ago, this stuff was 7 or $8 for a box of 20. Today it was $12.99. Um, somewhat expensive, but at least it's, you know, available around here because from what I've heard, 223 is very hard to find right now. Um, I couldn't believe that 22 LR was so hard to find, but uh, it's true. The shelf was completely bare. All the bulk pack 22 was gone, and this was all that was left. It's this Remington uh, Target Grade Standard Velocity 22. Uh, I bought two of them. I'm, you know, I'm going to be doing that 22 LR test for you guys, hopefully when these winds die down. And I thought this would be a, a good addition to the um, stash that I've got, so I can I can include it in the um, ammo test. Uh, but yeah, this was all that was left. And uh, this wasn't really that cheap. It was $5.99 for a um, pack of 50. So, yeah, the panic buying uh, is definitely out there. Um, I could have bought more of this, but I reload, so I didn't really have to. And um, I just didn't see a need to hoard that stuff. I've got plenty of brass. Hopefully the powders and the primers will be available in the near future. But... Um, Right now I'm really happy that I've got about 4,000 rounds of 22 LR stock, uh, built up. I've been buying a little bit here and there over the past few months, and uh, I'm really glad I did. So I just wanted to let you guys know what it's like here in Southern California. Um, just got to stay strong, and hopefully all this um, gun-grabbing BS will, will uh, pass, or at least a watered-down version of it will we'll get through. I hope not, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, you guys have a good weekend, and uh, take care. Thanks.